All right, so we're doing another video. Um, yeah, today's been a little interesting. I thought I was going to do a video tomorrow, but I just had to go ahead and do one. I had a little bit of extra time. Um, yeah, I was going to do one tomorrow because I had a cologne coming in tomorrow. So I was like, you know what? We'll do a new scent, whatever. We'll kind of talk about whatever that we were going to talk about today and just do that tomorrow, I guess. But I'm off today. So, yeah. Um, anyways, today's been interesting. Um, I woke up pretty fucking early, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really know. I felt interesting i i've been having really weird dreams lately completely you know um but yeah uh i decided i was like you know what it's my day off i'm gonna do some productive stuff so uh we were gonna do some productive things so i had a few things i had to do um one i had to drive to t-mobile to pick up a new headset um i'm going back to the site in a couple weeks anyways but yeah, you know how that is. So I went ahead. Um, I got paid. I don't know how to rock this beanie thing. Um, anyways, um, yeah, we went. We got paid. We drove to pick up a headset. Um, I drove to Walmart and I got my oil changed. So I got synthetic oil. Um, they were like, "Yeah, you're like basically out of fucking oil, dude." Like, you, thank God you showed up here. Um, anyways, I got some my oil changed. I did that. Um, and then while I was in the Walmart, I decided, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into something new. So I'm going to be getting into, um, I know we've been doing a lot of self-sufficiency kind of prepping type shit, but, um, I've been really wanting to get into like survival, um, on my own type shit. So I, I've been watching fishing videos and so I'm going to be getting, um, uh, my first fishing pole. Uh, my own. Uh, I was thinking about getting the Ugly Stick GX2 uh, combo. Um, but anyways, I didn't pick that up today. I was going to, but I was I was like, you know, I'm going to go to the Costco. Maybe they have uh, something really cool there. I don't really know. I heard that they sold this one I was looking for uh, there with a better package, but they didn't have it. So I left there. I went to there. I went to Costco. Um, I picked up some new stuff. I actually got some new packages in today. Um, some of my stuff came in, um, bought some new shit. Actually, I'm going to show you guys. I literally saw maybe the perfect stakes. Um, so anyways, we'll get into all this weird shit that I'm talking about. Um, I have been drinking a little bit of beer. Um, my day off, uh, I worked out by the way, I kicked ass in the gym. I, when I say I kicked ass, I kicked ass. And so is drinking beer conducive? to being in better shape absolutely not but i kicked ass in the gym i'm eating right i can drink a few beers whatever fuck it so um i did go to coors light um yes the yellow jackets were great but you know i don't know i just felt like if i'm gonna drink and uh whatever I, yeah i guess the, the calories got to me they got to me they got in my head all right so I had to make that little salt decision. So I went with the 100 calorie beer instead of the 150 calorie beer. But anyways, got some new packages in today. I'm gonna show those. Um, I'm gonna show the world's, maybe the best steak, best looking steak I probably bought from a store ever. I got USDA Prime, obviously. I mean, but we went with the New York Strip. Uh, I was gonna get ribeyes. I was like, the ribeyes were at a good price, but the cut was ugly. It was just so ugly, I just couldn't do it. But anyways. Um, let's get into the things I bought. I'll bring some of that shit in here. I bought something new when I was at Costco also. Um, I'm thinking about buying another purchase, so we'll go over that. Uh, anyways, let's grab that. Um, actually, let's do a sim of the day right now because um, I want to smell good right now. Um, I actually saw this. I'd completely forgotten about this. Um, pineapple Vintage. Pineapple Vintage. It's been sitting right in the front, right in the front of all my fucking uh, scents, right in the front. And I just, I don't know what the fuck it is. I just, I just, I've forgotten. Pineapple Vintage, brother. Let's go. Um, this is uh, Parfum Vintage's uh, take on uh, Aventus, uh, Creed Aventus. This is not cheap, by the way. This is, this by itself is like 120 bucks. So not cheap at all. Um. Oh my god, 
smell, she smelled pineapple, dude. Oh my god, so fucking fruity. It's so fruity. I love it. You know what? I'm so happy. Because Creative Minutes is my favorite clone. And this was their take on it with way more pineapple. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> okay, don't take that as a <coughs> as a down a knock on this. That's just something I do when I have a drink or I smell a new scent. Sometimes I'll sneeze two or three times. It's just a habit I have. Sometimes I have to sneeze two or three times when I take a shot. Um oh my god. I'm going to be honest, Creed Aventus is a masterpiece. Now, this is not Creed Aventus. This is 95% match, but way, 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 way more fruit. Like, way more pineapple. Um, I mean, fuck, there's a fucking gold pineapple in the front. What do you expect? You know what I mean? Anyways, I, I'm going to stop getting on a tangent here. Uh, and I tried to wear something spring-like today. I guess like that. Is that cool? Spring? But yeah, anyways, enough of my weirdness. I'm gonna go grab a couple of things I bought. Um, I'm actually gonna grab everything, so I'm gonna come back here and look at them. Uh, Um, sorry about the pause in my sweet video. Um, yeah. So we got a few things. Um, I skipped one of the things. <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, let's show these steaks. Because these steaks, I obviously probably shouldn't leave out the whole video. Because we don't know. But oh my god, look at the marbling. You can see it. From even on the video. Even on the not very super high dip video. So we got New York strip. Honestly, I thought these, I didn't think these were as big as they are. I guess I apparently got three, over three pounds of meat. But we got USDA Prime um, New York strip steaks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat one of these myself, and then I'm going to save two of them for, like, when I have a nice event with somebody else. And it's going to be nice. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I was super excited. About these are probably the most exciting thing. Like, Marbling on these is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I fucking love it. Anyways, we can put these back in the fridge real quick. Shit. I know I said I was going to leave. Probably should have just used two. Uh, on the topic of meat, I bought... Uh, fuck. What am I doing? On the topic of meat, I also bought... Five pounds of fresh cut butcher fucking bacon. So we're going to try that out. Uh, it's super well marbled as well. I'm just fucking excited. I've never had fresh cut bacon, like just actual legit stuff. Um, that goes into our next purchase. Um, so I was at the Costco being an idiot. I mean, obviously, I'm just looking for stupid shit to buy. Um, I bought... Um, an immersion circulator, immersion thing, whatever. It came with these other things. So now I can, uh, so you hook these little fuckers in and this little thing, it's an immersion circulator thing. Um, so this is like for good for pureeing things, mixing things. You can make a fucking protein shake and just pop it in. It just basically blends stuff in. So you can make like soups uh purees uh, all kinds of shit i figure as i'm getting deep into cooking um i see people use these sometimes and i wanted to have one now i wasn't being a little bougie bitch for once in my life i didn't go buy the brayville one the brayville one was a hundred and like forty dollars and this was like forty dollars now normally i like to buy the more expensive one but this had the stainless steel cut on it I'm like, you know what? Costco's legit. So if this thing sucks dicks, then I'm going to bring it right back. So uh, I got this. It came with a bunch of other little tools. So I got a little whisker thing. I have a thing. Actually, the main thing I'm probably going to be using this for uh, it was a little dish thing that lets me chop up vegetables and other bullshit. I've been hand chopping 
romaine lettuce and tomatoes and other stupid shit long enough. Like now I just want to throw the romaine lettuce, throw the tomatoes, throw some bacon in there, salt, pepper, whatever, blast that motherfucker and then dip out. Um, but yeah, I've been making wraps and stuff. Uh, I wanted to get this. It's just a, I've been getting deep in the kitchen game. So uh, I've been looking into so many things, Dutch oven, um, just all kinds of cooking techniques, just all kinds of crazy shit, to be honest with you. Like I'm kind of a little bit going off the cooking deep end, to be honest with you. I'm really, really cooking something I really, really love. And I just want to make things cooler and better. And I just want to have all the tools to eat all of the cool things. Um, but you have to be honest, there is kind of a social thing to it. Um, you know, I love cooking things. Um, but what's really cool is just people are so impressed um, when you tell them you love cooking. And when they see all your shit and they see all your little gadgets and things, they know you're legit. And so I am legit. I love cooking. I love looking at new stuff. I don't really eat out unless I'm drinking. Um, and I really don't eat out unless I'm in a relationship. Uh, by myself, I don't go out to places to eat. You know what I mean? I might... Like, if I'm getting blasted drunk, uh, I'll probably order, like, DoorDash and get, like, Chipotle or something. But to keep it real, like, I don't know. I just want to learn new stuff. I just want to find cool new things and just get better, get better at my craft. Um, you know, take it to the next level. And so, yeah, I could take a fork and blend stuff. But, yeah, this is, like, a professional way to do it. Anyways, enough of this. Uh, let's get to the, the real, the real uh, show one. Boom! Our buddy came in. Our uh, fucking uh, smoke gun. Our professional smoke gun. We got a professional one. We didn't get we didn't get the shitty regular model. We got the Braville PolyScience Pro model. So uh, to all the peasants out there with the regular model, fuck you. Um, yeah. Anyways, it came with hickory chips, and it came with. Applewood chips. I bought some chips. Actually, I'm going to show you those. I forgot about them until just now. Um, but yeah. Anyways, this thing goes into here. You get... I don't, I don't want to show the whole thing. But yeah, I got this thing to go with it. Boom. Got a cloche. A cloche came in. Boom. Check it out. Super exciting. Uh, so the little tube goes into this, and you smoke your foods. Uh, I was thinking about getting lobster tails and shrimps. I was going to be a real fancy bitch, but then I realized... Uh, I don't really have anybody to make that for, so uh, I don't need to be all like fucking extra with everything. Um, I can be happy with my New York strip steak. So I'm gonna wait to make that till this weekend. Um, we have some other good news, and a lot of good news come in this week, and so so much good news that it's really hard to even remember it, especially when you're drinking and being an idiot. But we got our cloche, we got our smoke gun, super excited about that, and then what else? Uh, yeah, our chips, boom. So we got chips for our gun. Obviously, we already have the ones, the two that came with it. But we bought this set. Uh, smoking gun, wood chips, natural wood chips. So we got, um, I think I already said this in the last one, but we got apple. Oh, I'm reading backwards. Apple, cherry, hickory, mesquite. And so, yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, first thing I'm going to be doing in this, I'm actually going to be making my pizzas tonight. I've um, been making pita pizzas, and so um, what I've been doing is taking some pita bread, uh, low carb. I you mean, know, kind of got on that. I got brought on that kick by my last partner, um, but I've been doing low low carb um, the pita bread, and so I do that with some barbecue sauce as a layer for the sauce, some low fat, low moisture mozzarella, some rotisserie chicken. We put some basil. We put some. Um, Basil, cayenne pepper, um, Italian seasoning, which is kind of, I think, just oregano, basil, and uh, something else. And then, yeah, we just blast it in the oven for a little bit, and then we got little pizzas. So they look beautiful. I'm going to be honest with you. They look amazing. So but anyway, check this out. I'm not going to show every single one, but we can just kind of see how many chips we got. So, yeah, they look like this. Um, this is a mesquite. They all look the same, so there's no real separation. Let me bring them all out. Yeah, you pop those in the gun, you light the thing, and then you're kind of just like, whatever, you go on your, go on your way. They smell so fucking good. I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you I know they smell good because I had a couple of little chips. I lit them the other day, and they smoked my room a little bit. And just these two tiny little chips. Fucking mwah, chef's kiss, baby. Smelled amazing. Um, 
We did that. Um, oh yeah, we also brought our two hats out of the car. Finally. Um, yeah. Bought some new stuff. I also bought 40 Coors Light beers from Costco. Uh, that's why I ended up buying these, by the way. I didn't choose to go Coors Light. They just didn't have yellow jackets. So maybe I lied a little bit. Maybe a little lying by omission. Um, but they didn't have uh, yellow jackets at the uh, Costco. <laughs> So I was like sitting there. I was like, you know what? I've been drinking a few beers every night. Um, what's the economic way to drink beer? Well, why not buy 40 beers at once? So I got our hats. So I bought these on a trip to Target. I'm not a big Target Walmart clothing guy. I don't really like buying clothes from cheaper places. Um, but I did buy these. I don't know why I bought these. I've never worn them ever. Um, and honestly, after I bought them, um, I, I don't know what occasion I'll wear these for, but I have them. I don't know when the hell I'm going to wear these. I have no fucking idea. Like zero idea. Like what, what am I from like, like the fucking 1960s or something. But yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not too bad, but yeah, you can see. We got that. We got our kind of cowboy hat. So I mean, after watching Yellow Jacket, not too bad. You know what I mean? So yeah, not not the worst hats ever. They're funny. I'll probably wear them sometime. Um, yeah, let's get more on the topic of uh, stuff, life, shit, whatever. Um, so I did end up um, downloading a book. I kind of been having so many mental things going on. I have so much free like I want to say I have so much free time, but I really don't because it's already ten o'clock and I feel like. I've been doing stuff the whole day, and I really don't know. I think I have free time. Maybe I don't. But um, there have been some interesting social interactions that have happened recently. Uh, an old person I was talking to um, back last summer, um, I spent 4th of July with uh, Josh and Kim and uh, somebody else. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, just stuff and just stuff and just stuff. I am not trying to do all that stuff, but I don't know. Life's kind of coming at me fast, so who knows. Um, that, and I'm going back to work in April, and um, I don't know. It's been kind of just doing stuff. Uh, my goal really is just to focus on my own shit. I really want to um, – uh, I feel like I'm going all over the place. Um, so – I really don't know what I want to do. So I ended up, um, I put in my application tonight for Costco for my second job. I want to have a second job because I'd love to be busy on the weekend. I don't want to be wasting time. I can do a real job, like a real person job, like a human job where I do stuff and I just do stuff. I'm just new. I'm the new guy. Um, you know, I get to learn something new. I get to just do stuff. I just want to do things in person. I want to do like work like a normal person, you know. Um, and I just have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. So I'm free and I'd love to be able to like balance my life out a little bit. If it doesn't work out for me, then I'll leave. But I'd like to try something a little different, you know. And extra money, obviously money never hurts. You know what I mean? I'm not rich by any means. I have money. I have a nice job. I have good benefits. I have a nice place and I have everything going well, but money never hurts. It always helps. Like I said, you never know what's going to happen. Um, I don't know. It'd just be nice to keep my mind busy a little bit, you know, and um, I've been playing a lot more chess. Um, but yeah, also my paintings in my hallway, I'm going to either hang up. I don't really want to hang them up myself, but I'm probably going to watch some videos and do that. Or a realistic, I want to pay somebody to hang them up. So I, this kind of leverages into my next section. The couch is coming on March 25th. I have a floating holiday day paid off. So I took the whole day off and get paid for that. And then I hear one that comes in. Um, I'm going to see how the TV thing goes. But realistically, Samsung's offering the, the QN90A, the, other, the actual legit Samsung TV I wanted to get. Um, with the brightness and the craziness, they are offering that TV for 1300 So I'm going to wait uh, and be responsible for the first time I've, in my life, not just buy it. Um, I'm going to see how the TV thing goes. I'm going to try it out for a couple of days. I'm going to see how things are. 
if I fucking hate it, then I'm going to leave this TV in here. I'm going to get the Samsung TV for the living room, and it'll be on Wi-Fi. And it'll have its own Apple TV. I got another Apple TV sitting under my bed. Um, it's got the remote that, you know, um, a little thinner remote and all that. But I got another Apple TV. I got an NVIDIA Shield. I have all kinds of extra shit going on here. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, mentally, I felt pretty interesting. I mean, I felt good. I feel like I need to be honest in these videos because I feel like just being full of shit just really doesn't help me very much. So I'm just going to be completely honest. Um, I have been thinking about Jody more. I have. I've been thinking about her more. But at the same time, I get to block myself out by saying, like, I have nothing left to say. Um, I don't have anything to say to them. I just don't. Um, you know, before I had hopes and like, it, it was always this thing where like, no matter what happened, I was always like, Oh, I love you. Oh, you know, I, I care about you. You know, I'll take care of you. Like you can come back whenever you want kind of thing. And, um, I just don't feel that same way anymore. Um, I don't feel like that anymore. I think about them and I think about the negative stuff that happened. And I, and I think about how they messaged me. I would just ignore it. I just, I wouldn't talk to them because I just don't have anything to say at this point. Um, you know, and there were some, you know, reminiscent feelings. I'll be honest. I, I looked back, you know, because I get reminded I have Google maps, I have my team mobile chat stuff. And so, you know, it goes back, you know, and like Facebook, you know, photos and like videos. And like for me, I don't delete stuff. I'm not a deleter, a blocker. I don't try to pretend that history didn't happen. I don't try to fake out my whole life and just act like, you know, I'm some other person, you know, that's not me. Uh, I don't go on social media, you know, and try to show off and flex and all this bullshit. I don't try to get attention. You know, it's just not me. That's not me. Um, you know, I just, I live my life and I post stuff and when I post, I post it, you know, if it's there, it's there, you know, once, uh, things change. All right, cool. Well, you know, that was me in that point in life and I'm going to remember that. So, so whatever, you know, um, not hating on anybody else to do something different. I just, that's me, you know, and, uh, that's who I am and that's how I operate, you know? Um, you know, when I was younger, I cared a lot more about those things. I cared a lot more about the attention and, you know, all that shit. Um, there's a reason why I don't, you know, I don't post a bunch of shit on Instagram. I don't get a TikTok and make stupid ass videos and, um, I just don't really make YouTube videos for entertainment. I used to do that. You could tell if you go back in my history of my videos, I just post stupid shit of drinking and fighting and retarded shit and all kinds of stuff. I don't really do that. I do video diaries. That's just, and this is because this is way easier to store these here than on my computer. I mean, it's really all it is. I have a place that I can come back and reminisce and all that, and look back on my life. Um, but yeah, wherever I was going with that, um, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I I miss uh, – I don't want to get too far in this rabbit hole because, it's, again, we're just being honest. Um, I do see things from when we worked together and when we first met and stuff like that. I mean, they were just really cool times. They are just really nice things. Uh, but that's not the same person. And so they're just a much worse person. And uh, that's really what it is. I just don't – have anything else to say i've gotten as i've become a better person and they've become a much shittier person and so or maybe that's just who they always were i really don't know but um yeah i mean that's really all it is i just don't i don't know i guess i can separate the disappointment from me like the internal way i used to be where it'd always be like, oh, I, you know, I made a mistake and I'll fix this and I'll fix that and, you know, I'll get better and I'll improve myself and, you know, I'll be better next time around and, you know, I'll, I'll uh, always blaming myself for everything and it's total bullshit. But, you know, at the end of the day, it pushed me to learn things about myself that I never would have gotten to. So it was kind of cool in a way, but kind of shitty too, you know, very abusive and very fucking crazy um what the fuck is this oh my god i'm getting those weird messages okay i don't care about that um but yeah i mean i don't want to go on for a negative thing um i guess what i really want to say is 
you know, at this point in time, I just, I, I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's very, very, uh, I'm very separated from feeling disappointed versus like the way I used to feel where it was always like hope and love and like, Oh, I take care of them no matter what. And I do this for them. I, I don't care. Like, uh, I don't, I used to always tell them this shit, like, uh, you know, like, you know, if they had their face burned off and take care of them or, you know, or no matter what happened, it might be there for them. And at this point in time, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Not at all. Not, not too fucking no way. They're just not a, they're not the right person. You know, uh, they're just not. And I've had a hard time coming to grips with the fact that they're just a disloyal. Um, they're a cheater. They're a liar. They're disloyal. Um, they're just not capable of love in a long-term scale or having any idea of what it's like to, um, I don't know, just, just be there and be a, a legitimately loyal person. They're just not capable of it mentally. Um, you can see that. I mean, obviously, I, I don't even need to say anything. It's just the history of everything speak for itself. Um, uh, for me, I, uh, I hope that changes. I hope they're able to be happy and I hope they're able to change the way, however they are, you know, with shit, but, um, you know, be happy. You know, I don't, I don't want them to have turmoil and craziness. You know, I don't want that for myself. I don't want that for anybody. It's just wild. Um, you know, and again, uh, you know, it sounds very negative when I hear it now saying it out loud. Um, and maybe I'm being a little more harsh than I need to be. You know, I don't really know. Um, the idea wasn't get on here, right, bitch, and complain and all that bullshit. Um, we do have some more exciting news. Um, we have a clone coming in tomorrow. So we have Polo Deep Blue Parfum. Super exciting. Um, really excited to check that out. I don't think I'm going to do a video tomorrow because there's really not enough new shit to really update on. But I think I'll wait to my next video, and then I'll show that one on there. So... I know everybody's excited about that, um, but yeah, um, outside that, um, our fire alarm went off in the building today. That was exciting. Um, I had other shit happen. I had other, lots of other things happen. They're just not important enough to really bring up in these videos. Um, but yeah, life is chugging along and I feel great. Um, we're balancing things out, you know, we're balancing things out and we're sleeping well. We're getting in the gym, um, we're kicking ass, we're doing great things, we're showing up to work, and we're not feeling, um, I don't feel depressed, you know, I don't feel anxious, I don't feel anxiety, and so that's a step in the right direction, and, you know, as long as I can keep my mind state straight and just keep focusing on being positive and, you know, doing the right thing, then I think things are going to keep going in the right, you know, direction, um, but yeah. I don't know. Like I said, we got work tomorrow. Um, we're going to play some chess tonight or make our little pizzas. We're going to smoke our pizzas under the flush thing. And then uh, we're going to watch some modern family. And we're probably going to fall asleep doing that. And that's kind of really what we're going to do today. Um, this weekend, no idea what we're doing. Uh, we Maybe doing some fishing, probably some hiking. Uh, we may, we're going to shoot some guns. We're going to do some fun shit. You know what I mean? Like we're going to get shit popping. Um, I'm going to be waiting to see how I do emotionally for the next couple weeks. I'm going to take a couple weeks to myself and then we're going to do something in Kansas city, probably here in the next month. Uh, see how things go. Like I said, I'm just, you know, I take everything in and just, I don't want to, you know, I, I know how I am, you know, I know how I've gotten on these videos and I've been one way and then another way in another video and. I don't want to be that. I want to be consistent. And I want to make sure I'm consistent before I commit to things or I tell people I'm going to do things. So I'm waiting, spending a couple weeks myself, and I'm just seeing how things go. And so it's kind of where we're at with everything. Um, but yeah, outside that, I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm sure I am. I always am missing something. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to say this. Don't get the Contigo Fit water bottle. It sucks ass. It's awful. You got to suck through a straw thing on it. It's it's awful. Um, but yeah, that thing leaked in my water. The thing leaked in my bag. Pissed me off um, a lot. But yeah, outside that, yeah, I don't want to do anything else. I think we're good. We're going to 
drink another beer. We're going to probably chill out. And, uh, yeah, outside that, sorry I was being a little too negative earlier. Um, not, I don't mean to be that way. Um, I shouldn't have been negative. Um, but, yeah, you know, but, you know, that's uh, – Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I'm not going to feel bad about it. I mean, it's probably true, everything I said. So, um, yeah, I don't feel bad about it, actually. I just wish I didn't. I wish I had more positive things to say. Um, Outside that, love you all. Thank you for watching these. You all are awesome. Um, Keep wishing me luck. My arm's getting a little bigger, a little bigger. Hopefully, I get a little less fat here over the next couple months. And uh, you guys will be able to see those changes. So, I'm super excited. And uh, outside that, thank you if you watched this. Um, you know, I've been getting a lot more into God and cooking and all kinds of other shit. So, uh, whatever you're into, I just hope you're passionate about it. I hope it's awesome and positive and I hope you're happy. And, um, outside that, yeah, thank you for watching this. Sorry again, um, for any negativity in my video. I don't mean to do that. Love you all. Thank you again. Bye.